So this is the road in to Port St. John's. Port St. John's. Like everywhere in the trans sky, there are a lot of speed bumps. There's a huge shock filled river down there on my left. I probably shouldn't be driving and filming at the same time. And we're just entering Port St. John's and coming up on our right hand side is Kentucky Fried Chicken. I like Kentucky Fried Chicken. I love Kentucky Fried Chicken ice creams. Me too. And there's the river mouth down there on the left. And this is Port St. John's town and boy has it become very African since I last visited it 24 years ago. What a town. And here we have downtown Port St. John's. See guys, in Africa, you've got to wear shoes. Why? Now you know why. That's why you gotta wear shoes in Africa. Look at that. Kind of dirty. Sorry. I don't know why there are no car guards and uh, parking assistants in the trans sky because I really need one. So luckily I've got Ying Ying to help me. Well she's so good at car guarding. Look she's really good. How much does it cost? <laughs> How much, how much? My friend, please, sir. Hey, you're not watching. You're not watching for cars. No. Oh, she's good, eh? Your mother is the best car guard I ever saw. What a good car guard. Okay, so we're back to the post office um, two days later. Last time I came it was chaos and of course Vivian's passport, which we're waiting on, otherwise we cannot go to Mozambique. Vivian's passport was being sent up from Cape Town and it hadn't arrived, so we're really hoping it's arrived now, otherwise our trip will get bogged down forever here in the trans sky. So 
every time I come in the post office, there's lots of people lining up to get their salaries because they are um, working for the government. Like these gentlemen here are doing firefighting. And all these people, I think, are um, doing road cleaning or road repairs. So it's very interesting what you see here in uh, the old trans sky. So much money is being poured in by the government to um, uplift the people. Well, I'm really happy because the passport finally arrived. Okay, Jesse, open it up. Let's see what's inside. Pull it off. Oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, it's Mummy's Taiwan passport. It's been sitting in Cape Town for the last month waiting for a South African visa to be issued. Now Vivian can stay in South Africa. Lucky girl. What a wonderful place to spend the rest of your life. Bye bye. Jesse's clothes are so dirty. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> life on the road. All right, guys. We're going. Are uh, you worried about where to put the rubbish? Well, if you're a local, you just throw it on the floor. Shall we throw it on the floor? No. Why don't we just throw it on the floor? Because... That's littering. All right, we'll find a rubbish bin. Hey, I see a rubbish bin right over there. And it's right next to the bottle store. Over there. And we need to buy someone a present. Okay, let's see what a Port St. John's bottle store looks like. And there's the whiskey over there. I want to buy a bottle of JMB for Alan because he gave us so much of his delicious fish. So uh, while I was getting uh, Vivian's passport from the post office and buying something in a bottle store, she has been shopping for the next few days. Hello. Hello. I'm a shopper in a supermarket. Are you wearing high heels? Yeah, like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Cool. Oh. Okay. So if I I wonder why that taxi says Pen 10 2. I don't know. And here we are stuck Hi, in the taxi Coco. rank. How do we get through, guys? So the children have had to um, sit through or be patient through a post office visit, um, there was a bank visit before that, then there was buying the alcohol and then fetching Vivian from the supermarket and then waiting while she shopped in the grocery market. So the only way I got them through all of that was promising them a Kentucky ice cream. Wow, JJ, your ice cream's got a plate on it. Oh, I know you like flakes. Hey, I can see somebody over there. Who's that? It's May May with a flakeless ice cream. Bye-bye. Okay, so Jesse and I have just realized that Kentucky tables slide down. And I know why. Do you know why, Jesse? No. You don't know. I'll tell you why. It's because they want children to put their food right here, they want it to slide down on the floor and then the children have to buy more food. Actually, the mummies and daddies of the children have to buy it. And then this restaurant can sell more food. Very clever, huh? More money. They get more money, they get richer. And so here it is, Vivian's new two-year uh, temporary residency for South Africa which she was able to apply for because of being my wife. If we didn't have this, then we could not get back into South Africa after going to Mozambique and whatever other countries we decide to go to. So now all the bureaucratic red tape is behind us so we can look ahead to Durban, Swaziland and then Mozambique.